one of the common questions that I always receive is, I'm not working in the creative industries. Why will I be learning creativity for? People have this misconception about creativity. So what is actually creativity? Hi, this is Hazri. One of the common questions that I always receive is, I'm not working in the creative industries. Why will I be learning creativity for? You see, people have this misconception about creativity. To them, creativity is like music, dance, theater, film, painting, sculpturing, or the arts. The reality is, creativity is not just about the arts. Creativity is more than arts. So what is actually creativity? To me, I define creativity as the ability to generate and fine-tune ideas. And to put it into a simple formula, I call it A plus B equals C, where A is an item, B is another item, when they come together, create a new item called C. That is the basic of creativity. If we were to look deeper into this, creativity is like a spectrum. For simplicity purposes, we can divide this spectrum into three modes. We call this the small C, middle C, and big C. So what are they? Small C is like the everyday creativity. For instance, you want to cook a meal and you have some ingredients on hand. So with these ingredients, you put everything together and create a dish. Useful, isn't it? So this is an example of small C creativity. Middle C creativity, or sometimes it is also known as the professional C or pro C, this is more pertaining to individuals and a group of people. It's affected one another, probably in, in teams or in uh, organizations or in community, for instance, um, on how to increase sales for a product or how to increase productivity at the workplace. So these are the examples of middle C. And the big C are those big names like uh, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Jack Ma, Jack Bezos, all these, their products have made impact to the world. So these are the examples of the big C. And the good thing is, all of us has the ability to be creative, whether or not we want to use it in the small C level, or the middle C level, or even in a big C level. It all depends whether how useful or how valuable our idea is. And to take it further, one doesn't need to be in the creative industries to be able to use creativity. Because uh, in an article by Dr. John Bauer, an education professor from the other university in the US, the author said that there are seven thematic domains of creativity where you can apply creativity in these areas. And he mentioned there are seven, and they are the uh, artistic or verbal domain, artistic or visual domain, interpersonal, problem-solving, entrepreneurship, math and science, and performance domains. So, you see, with this in mind, you can choose which ones that you can exercise your creative potentials. Let's just uh, do a quick recap. So, three things we learned today. Number one, creativity is defined as the ability to generate and fine-tune ideas. Number two, Creativity is like a spectrum where there are small c, middle c, and big c. And finally, creativity is not just meant for the arts. It's beyond the arts. There are seven domains of creativity where we can exercise our creative potentials. I hope you like this video. And if you do, I hope to continue this journey with you. And there are three things I would like you to do. Firstly, subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified of any new videos that we put up for you. Secondly, leave your comments, like and share this video to those who might benefit from it. And lastly, click on the link in the description below for you to receive free resources on creativity and communications. So then, Hazri Ido signing off. Stay safe, stay positive, stay creative. See ya.